Good day. This is John Nolan. I'm with Solid Experts here in the National New Hampshire office. I'm a senior applications engineer. And today I'm presenting you a uh, quick tip, tip video of um, creating additional drawing views, um, methods of having new drawing views in your view palette such that you can create them on your drawing sheets. So here in SOLIDWORKS, we have an open drawing. And because we've created it from the NC standard, we have all the typical top, front, right projection views, even the isometric views, and so forth. But what if you want some additional views, maybe showing um, an angled view to one of the back faces and things like that? You could perhaps do an aligned view or something of that nature. But there are other techniques. So if we go to our part, and I can rotate around and, and you know look from the back side, maybe highlight um, the blend here on the back of this feature and so forth. I'm going to choose to hit my space bar as a keyboard shortcut. And that brings up the view orientation dialog. Mm -hmm. By the way, that spacebar keyboard shortcut is one of the first keyboard shortcuts in SOLIDWORKS and one of the first enhancement requests. So certainly take the time to make your enhancement request to SOLIDWORKS. We have all our general orientation commands, even our overview view blocks, but we also have this item for saved views. And right now there's nothing in it, right? But the second icon here is a new view. And I can say very much, let's create a new view. And then say blend, or whatever I want to call it. And now that's a save orientation. And even if I flip to any other orientation, I can always hit the space bar and come back to that position. Right? So now that's a view created in my part file, even though it has nothing to do with the normal NC standard projections. Similarly, I can even do the same sort of thing for uh, you know, a custom section view. So here we've got a, a zonal section view in two directions, right? Again, with that current, hit my space bar, click my item, say custom section. Right? And now even that has an effect. And even with that off, I can come back to that arrangement any old time I want, straight from the spacebar. Okay. Going back to our drawing document, now on the standard view palette, I've made some changes. So notice here the view palette has kind of gone blank. It says, click refresh to update the view palette. And sure enough, there's a refresh button right here. Go ahead and click on that. And now do we not only have our standard um, custom views, but we also have the named ones that we made. And I can drag and drop out of the view palette. And drop that in. Change my display style of that view. Maybe I do want shaded, just for artistic effect. And even add a no. So that's just a quick illustration of the fact that, yes, in SOLIDWORKS you have you know very good adherence for all your standard views, all your methods of view creation, and so forth, but. With access to your part document, you can say create a name view and save it, and have that uh, for use in any drawing, no matter what you might need. Thank you for your time and attention, and stay tuned for more tech tips from Solid Experts.